By the way, guys, peep the shirt. Is this back to school vibes AF or not? I think it is, personally. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a back to school makeup tutorial. And this look is so perfect for when you're getting ready in the morning and you want to do something quick and easy and fresh, but you still want to look put together and like a real person and not a zombie when you walk into school on the first day. And honestly, I'm really surprised how much I like the way this makeup look turned out. I actually really, really love it. And I didn't think I would like it this much just because I'm all about my super glam, super dramatic makeup looks with like 10 layers of concealer and a wing and a sharp ass contour and a bold lid. And this look is really natural, but I actually love the way it turned out so much and it's so easy to achieve. I'm using very, very few products and very few brushes today, which are actually all affordable. So 90% of them you can actually purchase at the drugstore. A few of them you can't, but they're still at a very affordable price point but most of them you can buy at the drugstore itself as well as the brushes which is another reason why I love this makeup look so much because you don't have to go out and spend an arm and a leg and buy a million products to achieve it so if you guys want to see how to get this back to school easy to achieve makeup look then just keep on watching so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my skin with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And I talked about this in my All About Primers video, so if you don't know why I'm using a men's shave balm as primer, go watch that video and I talk all about it there. I'll link it down below for you guys. But basically, this primer or this shave balm contains very large amounts of glycerin, which is really good for helping your makeup stick and stay in place all day, which is perfect if you're going to school. It's gonna last you all throughout the school day and longer. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I'm just gonna start by dotting that all over the skin, and then I'm gonna buff it out with my Real Techniques blending sponge, and this is a good, cheaper alternative for the Beauty Blender. And I honestly, I don't like it quite as much as the Beauty Blender, but it is a lot cheaper and it still gets the job done pretty well. By the way, I've been absolutely obsessed with this, this foundation lately. Not only is it a good foundation for the drugstore, it's just such a good foundation in general. It feels really lightweight on the skin, it gives really, really good coverage, and it lasts all day and gives my skin such a beautiful finish. And obviously, it's inexpensive. I seriously have not stopped wearing it. I've literally been wearing it almost every day since I purchased it. I love it so much. Okay, so now that I'm all one color, I'm going to be doing some concealing. And for this, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I am in the shade 20. And I'm just going to be putting this under my eyes in a triangle shape to help both conceal and highlight my under eye area. Then I'm going to be taking the other side of my Real Technique sponge and using that to blend my concealer out. And as always, I'm going to be blending it up onto my eyelids as well to help prime for eyeshadow. And then I'm just taking the excess product up on that sponge and blending that onto my chin and my nose and the center of my forehead to help balance out that under eye highlight and highlight the other areas of my face without putting any excess product there so it doesn't look too heavy or too cakey. Then I'm going to set that using my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm taking that on my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and I know that this technically is not a drugstore item, but it is very affordable. So that's why I'm including it in this video. And I don't really have any setting powders from the drugstore that I like to use to set my under eyes. I haven't found any yet, so that's why I'm using this. But I figured it still counts because it's still a very affordable option. And I'm just pressing that into the skin to set that concealer so it doesn't move and then setting my eyelids as well so that the primer doesn't crease and all the eyeshadows go in nice and smoothly. So I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows next and for this I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I actually haven't used this before and I don't know what shade I'm gonna be using. I have two shades here, I have Chocolate and Ash Brown and this is basically like the NYX version of the Brow Wiz by Anastasia so I'm gonna swatch this next to my soft brown to see which one has the closest match. Okay, so in the middle I have soft brown here, which is the one I usually use. And then above that I have ash brown, which is just a little bit darker. And then on the bottom here is chocolate, which is a little bit warmer than the soft brown. So I think I'm gonna go with the chocolate because I think that the ash brown is gonna be a little bit too dark. We'll see how this goes. So I'm just gonna comb them out with the spoolie first as usual. 
and then fill them in as normal. Okay, so this color is a little bit warmer than I'd prefer it to be, but I really like the way the product is applying. It's very, very similar to the brow is. I don't love the color, but you can always get a different color or whatever color suits you best, but I like the way it's working so far. I'm actually going to add in a little bit of the ash brown color just because my brows are looking really warm and I'm not really about that life, so I'm just going to go over it with some of this to help hopefully neutralize it a bit. Okay, so I'm going to start on the eyes now and I'm going to keep the eye look really simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of this NYC Sunny Bronzer and this is the bronzer I'm going to be using on my face later on and I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So using your bronzer as a transition shade just helps like eliminate the amount of products you have to use and just make everything a little bit easier and faster. So I'm just taking this on an M441 blending brush and I'm just buffing that into the crease for my transition shade and I'm building it up little by little. So picking up a little bit of product, buffing it in and, and adding a little bit more at a time until I get my desired pigmentation. Then I'm going to pick up this NYX eyeshadow in the shade Dance the Tides, which is just a little bit deeper. And I'm going to place that into my crease with the same blending brush just to deepen it up a little bit more. And you don't have to do this. Honestly, it's enough just to put the bronzer in the crease, but I just wanted something a little bit deeper. But the step really isn't that necessary. You can honestly just add more bronzer until you get it as dark as you want it. But I have this, so why not use it? Then I'm just going to take this little smudger brush by Morphe, which I got in a brush set, and I'm just going to start buffing that down under my lower lash line to smoke that out a little bit, and then soften it up by picking up some more of that bronzer, and then further blending it out. Then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Bronzed Taupe, and it looks like... This is just a really pretty bronze taupe color. It's described perfectly, so it's like a shimmery brown. And I'm just going to pick that up on my finger, and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. These eyeshadows are really, really beautiful and really shimmery and super pigmented, and they apply really well with the finger. I think, honestly, it's my favorite way to apply them. And same thing here on the other eye, pressing it onto my lid. Blending it in with my finger. Then I'm going to take this NYX Eye Coal. This is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On. Definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine liner in jet black. Okay, so it's just a NYX eye pencil, but dang, that name was elaborate. I like it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and smudge it onto my lower lash line just in the outer corner. I don't want to bring it too far in because that's going to close off my eye. This is just going to add a little bit of definition to the eyes. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my upper lash line, just like smudging a little bit right into the lash line, right on the outer corner. And then going back in with this little smudging brush and just buffing that out. Okay, and that's literally all I'm going to do to the eyes. So then I'm just going to finish it off by curling my eyelashes and applying some mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. And I'm going to go in pretty heavy with my mascara today. Quite a few coats because I'm not going to be wearing any falsies because let's get real, ain't nobody got time or energy to be putting on falsies before school in the morning at like 7 a.m. And as always, for my lower lashes, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, which... You guys know I'm obsessed with for my bottom lashes. It separates them so nicely and it makes them look really long and really full. Well, that's just fucking great. Okay, so here's what you guys do if you fuck up really bad like I just did. Wait for that to dry. Do not try and mess with it when it's wet because it's just going to make a huge mess. So we're going to give that a second to dry and then I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this. Okay, so once you've given that mascara plenty of time to dry, all you're going to do is take a Q-tip and literally just wipe it away. If you try and do this while it's wet, it's going to smear everywhere. 
but it kind of just kind of crusts off when it's dry as long as it's not waterproof mascara. Waterproof mascara is a little bit harder to get off, but regular mascara, it's easy. So with a smaller glob, it really won't mess up your makeup underneath, but since that was such a big glob, it took away a little bit of my foundation and concealer. So I'm just going back over that with my sponge and just kind of dabbing over top of that just to kind of put back the product where it came up there. Now I'm going to finish off the face and I'm going to go in with the NYC Sunny Bronzer that I used on my eyes and I'm going to take this on my EcoTools large powder brush and just start bronzing up the skin. I'm not going to be doing any contouring today because I'm trying to make this look as quick and easy as possible. So I'm just going to be adding some bronzer to my face to warm up my skin and give it a little life back to it. And so I'm just dusting that on the cheeks and giving it a really light layer. I don't want to go too ham with this, but I just want to add some warmth to my skin and blending it onto the forehead. So you can honestly just stop here if you wanted to. I think this is like the perfect look to go to school in, but I'm just going to show you guys, just for the sake of the video, a few extra steps that you might want to include using some good drugstore products. So I'm going to do some highlighting. If it were me, I would definitely include highlighter because I love to glow and you want to blind all the haters at school. So I'm going to be taking the Rivera Shimmer Strip by Physicians Formula and I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush as always. So it is a shimmer strip so it goes from lightest to darkest so I'm going to be avoiding the really darkest areas over here because that's a little too dark for a highlight. So I'm just swirling it around in these first three colors right here and then just applying that to my cheekbones. Oh, so pretty. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow as well. Then for blush, I'm gonna be taking this CoverGirl blush in the shade Natural Rose. And I'm applying that with my e.l.f. blush brush, just dusting that on my cheeks between my highlight and my bronzer. So I'm not really loving the way this blush is showing up on me because it's a, it's, it's a little light. So it's making me look kind of ashy. I don't know, if you have fair skin, you probably love this. When, before I self-tanned, I used this blush all the time and it was beautiful, but I think I'm a little too dark for it now. So I went and got another blush, and this is the Romantic Rose Blush by Milani, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that over top. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Shows up more. Much better. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is finish my look off with lips, and this, item is another item that technically is not drugstore. You can't purchase it at the drugstore itself, but it is very, very affordable. And this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color O Snap. And this is one of their matte formula lippy sticks. And I believe this one's like five or six bucks. So, I mean, that counts as affordable if you ask me. And it's just like a really pretty pinky color. And it's just like very neutral. It's not too much. This gives a little color to the lips. Okay guys, so that wraps up this tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out. Do it right now. I'm watching you. Go do it. Click a like, thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, don't forget, you can leave me any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section down below, as well as any requests you have for videos that you would like me to film. I'm going to be filming a lot of videos in this next upcoming week before school starts, so I'm really, really open to all of your suggestions always, and especially right now. Also, don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of that is Z underscore Sprucy. I will link all of that below for you guys in the description box as well as all the products that I used in today's video. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful school year and good luck in your studies and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let me hold a couple of nope. That's gonna be popping y'all callous. Yep. Nope. You in love with the house? Nope. She bringing you the doubt? Yep.